Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, I'm live a bit late. Oopsie, I had to make lunch for everybody because I woke up late and then... Dude, okay. Good morning, welcome. We had Batty and Mac in the just starting soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. I appreciate you both. Like, okay. I woke up randomly at like 3 a.m. Um, chatters, I'm on depot. I'm on birth control voluntarily. It's nice. You don't have a cycle. It's epic. So because of that, I don't have cramps. But I woke up at three with the worst fucking cramps in my goddamn life. I thought I had like appendicitis or whatever the fuck it's called. But I felt it on my whole abdomen. So I'm like, oh, it's just fucking cramps. Thank God. Because, you know, figuring out how to get to the ER at 3 a.m. would like be impossible. Anyway, so I woke up at three. It took me, I was like trying to, I was just wallowing in pain for hours and then I knocked out and then I woke up at eight and I was fine. So we're here. I had to make lunch so I was late. Today is a bonus stream. It's not a sub goal stream. It's just a super secret Aurora hunting stream because we had somebody move out yesterday. So we can spend all day today searching for the love of my life. And before we get started, I might have scanned you all yesterday. If you watched yesterday's stream, we did the Animal Crossing Winter Fishing Tournament. And I said, if I don't PB, I will gift a sub. And you know what didn't happen? I didn't gift a sub yesterday. So, oopsie. I, I legitimately forgot. <laughs> so, um, whoever is the first non-sub to type in chat will get the gifted sub. Any non-subs want a free sub? You guys have 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Batty? Okay. That gifted sub will go to Batty. I was hoping you'd type. Because <laughs> I saw Batty. I was like, Batty's no longer a sub, Sag. But don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. And wasn't there one month where somebody said, or somebody was going to try and gift Batty, but they already had a sub? So, you know, it worked out in the end. Oh, I was like, it's loading, but I just didn't press the confirm button. <laughs> there we go. Enjoy that gifted sub, Addy. Have fun with the emotes. Thank you for chatting. Okay, now that's out of the way. Nobody. Nobody can complain that I scammed anymore. I had to stop probably because they stopped your student discount. Damn, I think... The student discount is only good for six months because that's how it was for us in the states i don't know how it is i think you said you're uk right batty but in the in the states you get a six month discount and then after that because for me it used to be six dollars but now after six months it's like 850 so it's still not bad wait how much is prime normally <laughs> i forgot how much is prime normally i don't know i don't I mean, if I think about it, eight bucks, I get a free Prime sub and I get free delivery. So paying eight bucks, I think is worth it, IMO. Okay, chatters, let's go ahead and get started with today's show. <laughs> okay, so I just spawned in the clothing shop because I wanted to first verify that we had an open plot available. So we good. I didn't scan. We do have a plot so we can do aurora hunting all day. Um, I basically did lunch. Ooh. 
I would die if I had a coat like this IRL. But the problem with the coats like this, if you have like a fat ass or a big butt, or if you're plus size, they do not go look good on you because the way they fit on your torso is your back is like this and then your ass, right? So the coat doesn't sit well for those longer coats. I have yet to find one that fits me decently. And like, I know I could shop at like those like stores that are meant for plus size people, but I just feel embarrassed shopping in them. Yeah, they roll up. Yeah, it's annoying. Oh my god. I have these ribbons already, but they're so cute. Ooh, do you think Aurora will like me if I wore this? Ah, <laughs> uh, they should have just like a regular brown one. I don't- I don't like the colors that much. I'll buy the red, but I'm not gonna wear it. Oh my god, you know what these look like? You ever see those ads for the glasses that have like the magnetic- What are they called? Like skins you can have on them? And I always see ads all the time, they're like, oh my god, I can change my glasses every day. And they're snapping on, like, different colored frames. And to me, that's probably so, like, ugly in person. And you can probably see, like, the layer. It probably sticks out a little bit for the magnetic part. <clears throat> Those are so ugly. I know. And I assume the target audience for that product is, like, middle-aged women. Because, like, it's probably really gimmicky, so, like, when they show it to, like, their nieces or nephews, they're like, Oh my god, that's so cool! Okay, so first... We need to go change our fit, buy some tickets, and then we can head out. Oh, you know what I forgot to do yesterday? I... <laughs> so, you know how we did the fishing tourney? I got, I got very close to beating my PB several times, but I promise you during spring I will beat it. Um, I forgot to exchange my points for prizes once again. Oopsie. So I just, I just have to remember to in spring. I'm also trying a different sound setup for where I'm listening to my TV instead of my headsets because the headsets were getting kind of annoying and I don't want to wear headsets all day. I usually do that anyway, but I'm trying to see like empty plot easy. I'm trying to like hmm, right by each other, cute. Anyway, I'm trying to like not wear them all day, cause not that they stink, cause I do like clean them. But I just don't like the idea of being I guess connected to something electronic all day. Cause I usually use my headsets to like drown out like white noise because I have like mild tinnitus sometimes. But just the thought of, like, having them all day is starting to bother me. Like, it, it feels weird. Because I know I'm perpetually online. Like, I'm online all day, every day. But it's just like a... Like, not reassurance, but it's just reiterating that thought. So during stream, I'm going to try a setup to where I don't wear headsets. So I have my... My desktop audio is still feeding to my headset, so if I want to hear, like, whatever computer audio is playing, I can still hear it, but I have it loud enough to wear. Even if I'm not wearing them, like, if I get TTS or something, then I can still hear it. So. Oh, come on! How is that not perfect? I'm getting scammed. Oh, it's gonna be so lopsided. <laughs> the snowman missions oh that's not right at all huh you went with this size head interesting choice very interesting no it's good really everything's fine just fine Ugh. but it could have been so much cooler with just a little more effort did I tried I have really bad depth perception I can't tell sizes <laughs> It's so hard to not make jokes. Okay, I'm trying my best. Also, I'm like fresh out of the spot, fresh out of the shower. So I'm like, I'm sweating up a storm. That's why I look extra shiny. It's just the, the dew from the shower on me, not sweat. Okay, let's find a good fit. I've been stalling long enough. 
Also, I have a new TikTok. Go watch it, por favor. Okay, she would look cute. I am a sucker for like the Tarzan fit. The yellow dress with the explorer cap. I love that fit so much. I've been feeling the kimonos recently. You didn't like Tarzan? Me neither, honestly. It was mid. And I never liked the idea. Even when I was little, I understood that the dynamic that Jane and Tarzan had was, like, inappropriate. Because even if Tarzan is fully grown, it's still, like, problematic, right? Because he's not, like, educated on shit. It it'd be like banging a child, essentially. And it just felt weird. But I liked how the movie looked. It was an enjoyable movie to watch, but like the core like storyline is kind of sus. Wait, did they update this flower crown? Didn't it used to not have flowers in the center? I feel like it didn't. Huh. Okay, I'm not really liking any of the flowers or bows. <gasps> Oh my god, that's so cute. And I have green ones. But they're kind of too bright green, though. What I don't like about the bags is see how the sleeves bunch up. I don't like it, it looks fucking ugly. It's ugly. Why did they do that? Okay, I think I'm good. Hopefully Aurora will like fall fall in love with me. It's not often I get to wear a green fit. I usually don't wear green for the costumes because it blends in too much with the grass, but since there is no I look so cute. Okay, so I still need to I think I need to clear my inventory, buy some axes. I have a boatload over there. I don't need to necessarily buy too many. Love the fit. I know. I love the kimono so much. When we were little, up until we were the age of 10, for Girls' Day and Flowers' Day, we would dress up in kimonos, and there were these blossoming plum trees down the street, and we'd take pictures every year. We stopped doing that because we grew out of the kimonos and my mom didn't want to buy more. <laughs> oh my god, you know what I realized too? I was thinking to myself, I was like, damn, I haven't biked in a long ass time. And then it dawned upon me this morning. I didn't get my bike from my parents' house. <laughs> so, oopsie. <laughs> like, we could go back and get it. I could, like... I could take the bus, and then, like... I could take the bus and then take it home on the bus, because, like, I can still get to their place by taking the bus. I would just have to take, like, three connectors. You should send your sister to get it? She can't drive. And I don't think... Because our roommate's car, it's, like, medium-sized. I don't know if the bike would fit in it. So it's like, it's probably a lost cause. I don't need it anyway. And most everything around me is able, I'm able to get to on the bus. So, I don't think I need it. And honestly, the bike was kind of shit. It's just like a regular generic Walmart one. But since I wasn't able to like store it properly, like it had to be stored outside in the rain. So like, it was all fucking rusty. The chains were all busted. And cause like every time, the, the chain would go around and go tuk, 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 and that got annoying so I could never ride my bike without earphones in but it's okay I'll, I'll just save up for another bike because there's no real like 
Because at my parents' place, there's some pretty nice, like, biking trails, but there's no good ones here. There's, like, a lot of walking trails, but not a lot of, like, good biking ones. Because, like, in order for me to get to a biking trail here, I would have to take a bus. And it's really hill hilly in our area. Just in general, Washington is pretty hilly. Um, but it's, like, really hilly in our area, so it's, like... I could bike to the trails, but I would literally- it's literally like this. The whole town is like this. Like, hill, valley, hill, valley. Did you put a card in it and make it sound like a motorcycle? Dude, I fucking hate when kids did that. It would scare me so much. Call me Little Wind, but I don't- I don't like loud noises. Oh my god, there's a guy who lives a few units down. And they have- oh, what's it called? What's it called? You know the car that, like, every single, like, veteran gets? <laughs> what's it called? What's it- okay. I know- I'm gonna look up the name. I know what it's called. But it's, like, so fucking loud. Uh, cliche car that- I don't- I literally- Once I- once I say what it is, you guys will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cliche car the veterans buy. Okay, I know what it is. Oh my god, why am I- I don't want videos, I want images. Dude, come on, how is it not coming up? I know what it is! I know what it is. Once I see it- Never mind, fuck, the joke is dead, the joke is dead. <laughs> but, anyway, it's like really loud, so whenever they rev the engine, rev the engine, it goes, mm, and they do it. In the morning at like 7 a.m. because they probably go to work, and then when they come home, it's so goddamn loud, and I hate it. Hate it. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. Hi, Crystal. Yeah, surely. Surely I'll find her, right? Right. Okay, we've stalled long enough. <laughs> We're what, 20 minutes in? Uh oh. Yeah, so their car is really loud and it annoys me. And there's also like another unit that has like a bunch of kids in it, like teenagers. And they blast their music during holiday, which is fine. You know, I think people can have fun. But it's just annoying sometimes. I mean, that's something you gotta get used to when you live with like a lot of people near you. Because like our parents' house is still in like a populous area, but there's a lot more people here where we moved to. Megan is anti-fun. No, I love having fun. I think people can have fun. It's just You can't disrupt other people's fun when you're having fun. I Think the best that I think that's the best way to say it, right? Because if my fun is quietly reading a book at 12 p.m. And then the goddamn kids are blasting their music. They are having fun, but they're also intruding on my fun you know i just realized i sound like a fucking grumpy old man all these gosh darn children okay let's buy like five tickets stream ends when we find aurora any believers <laughs> it's literally been nearly a year oh also chatters i think i said this the other day but if we look at my chat badge look I have a triple sunflower because my channel was officially affiliated on January 23rd of 2021. So basically a year. So wow, we I've been monetized for a year. Holy moly. Um, what was I going to say? I literally forgot what my point was. I okay. <laughs> I'm blanking. I'm Kalu. <laughs> I think I just wanted to flex my badge. I just wanted to flex. Been here since I've been affiliate. We're not gonna do anything special because I think doing anniversaries for affiliate or partner streams, I think it's fucking dumb. But we'll still do an anniversary stream for my birthday, which is April. And then my streaming anniversary, which is August. Those will be the only like anniversary type streams we'll do. But I- oh, I've been- okay, okay. Um, four tickets. 
let's get started. We're gonna do predictions every single island. So chatters, go Gamba, go make a prediction. Do you think we will find Aurora on this island, go Gamba? If you don't know what channel points are, here is a Twitch article that explains what it is briefly. So go check it out if you need a Twitch. It's it's weird. It's already 12.30, but it doesn't feel like 12.30. It feels like it's later in the day. You're at 14.8k points? Damn! Wait, Crystal, you missed it! Okay, I had to give Chad a sub yesterday, right? But then I forgot, so I, gif I gifted today. And it went to Batty today. Shout out to Batty for typing quickly. <laughs> but yeah, I think, let, let's see, in the Meg Esports budget, I think we can afford three more gifted subs this month until the 23rd. Because I just have to wait for my credit card to recycle. And then I can gift a million. Because I definitely want to do gifted sub incentives more often. It's just not in the budget. Oh yeah, I was talking about Valentine's Day. I've been like... Planning on what to do for Valentine's Day. I have a few ideas. Because even though Valentine's, I think, is on a Tuesday or Wednesday. I still want to do like a full five-day week of theme streams. I have a few. I have a few good ones. The only idea that I leak now is I'm for sure going to do another, like, viewer survey that'll tie into, like, two different streams. And then... Okay, let's see, that's two. I need to think of three more. Yeah, we're playing in zoomed-in perspective now. I forgot to gamble a good one. Dude, imagine... Imagine we actually find her today. That goes crazy. But then what would we even do in Animal Crossing? Because once we find her, I think that's peak content, right? Then there's no more anticipation, no more gamba. What do we even do? Also, I'm still getting used to this camera angle. It's weird. But I think I like this angle better. Because, like, I'm able to, like... Um, what do you call it? Like, look at the camera more, because before it was here, so if I was trying to, like, talk to chat directly, I'd have to turn, but here I just have to, like, look up if I want to, like, do a bit where I stare like, at the camera. Play Fortnite? When we hit 100 subs, then we'll do Fortnite again. Easy. Every 100 subs, we'll do Fortnite. Oh, I had a comment, because I re-uploaded that whole Fortnite game where I got my Royale, right? And I had somebody leave a comment, they're like, I'll subscribe if you play more Fortnite. And I'm like, I'm sorry. This was a one-off stream, but we might play it in the future. <laughs> Hi Titans, welcome in. Yeah, I mean, it'll probably be a while. Because, like, just looking at my channel in general, I usually average... Let's say 40 subs a month. Because I'll peak at like 60, but then I'll have a low of like 30. But granted, January's. Sorry, I don't know if the mic can pick it up, but it's the guy fucking revving his engine. He's doing it. Anyway, uh, usually we'll probably see peaks in like Christmas or my birthday, which is fine. That's anticipated. Can you guys hear it? I can fucking hear it. <laughs> I hope you can't hear it. Nope, okay, good. <laughs> it's really fucking loud. Yeah, because I have my mic settings. I, I changed them a little bit to where it should be a bit more clear. Should be less, like, static picking up from the fan, because, like, I do not realize how loud my laptop fans are. Because I use, I use dynamic settings, so sometimes they'll be off and sometimes they'll be on. But there's never been a point where my laptop is too hot, but sometimes- I usually keep my door room closed, but if I leave it open, I can hear the fan from, like, down the hallway and sometimes when I'm downstairs. It's crazy how loud the fan is. I feel bad for everybody else. Laptop fans are brutal, I know. 
What it what is nice though is that since we have AC in this place, I don't necessarily have to worry about it like overheating. Cause if it's too hot, we can lower the AC. If it's too cold, we can bump it up. You know. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Rip. I forgot to get medicine. But you know what? I didn't forget telling y'all to follow the channel. If you're new here, follow. You get cool emotes and you get to tap and chat. Wow. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Kind of like today. It's a bonus weekend stream, which wasn't scheduled. This was a total surprise. So it's, still, it's still weird playing in the zoomed-in perspective. Yeah, also, wait. I hate how fucking Animal Crossing, like, the capture card will lag sometimes. It's annoying. I know we talked about troubleshooting it before, but I... I'll be honest, I don't care enough. Because if I'm gonna troubleshoot, I need to be in the mood for it, you know what I mean? how when I want to clean my room I gotta like get to a point where it's like beyond messy and I'll just keep prolonging it and then I get to a point of no return and there's clutter everywhere that's when I clean it yeah I was gonna get one of those platforms that have like the fan in it that you're supposed to be your laptop on right but I decided not to because then my wrist would be like this or like this on the table it's gonna fuck up my wrist so I'd have to, like, get a better chair. Because the only thing that's adjustable on my chair is the height. I can't adjust the height of the armrest. So even now, whenever I put my um, wrist or my arm on the table, it's still slightly elevated. And I could, like, lift up my chair, but then it would fuck up my legs. Because for best, like, posture, you're supposed to have your, your chair to where your feet are, like, touching the ground. That way you're not, like, bending your legs and your legs should not be floating either. You use the actual keyboard on it? Yeah. Why would you not use the keyboard that comes with the laptop? Huh? Okay, we have not seen the new villager yet. Where are they? That could be a bad sign. I did have an empty plot, right? Yeah, I did. I always get scared whenever I try and plan these, like, aurora hunting streams. Because remember there's been a few times to where, like, the people just did not leave on time? And then I'd be like, uh oh, actually, no stream. Lol. I think the last time that happened, it was a short stream. And then I titled it, I lied. <laughs> I think I deleted the file. I don't know if I re-uploaded that vlog, because it was only like a 20 minute stream. Because I remember I booted up Animal Crossing, and then I opened the game, and then the plot was like, not empty. And then I was like, fuck, well, that was our content for today. <laughs> oh. Damn. Well, that's not them. Their, their color is weird. It's like a greenish brown. It's a fucking weird ass color. I don't think many chatters were there for that short stream. I think the only chatters we had were, I think, Potato and Luigi. And they both were like, oh, well, you could just play another game. And I was like, nah. I was like, nah, I'm kind of not feeling it. <laughs> so, anyway, did we find her this time? Nope. Sad day. He started to cry. <laughs> or beg cry. People need to use more of the 7 TV custom emotes. Guys, guys, I spent so much time working on them. Okay, let's be honest. I think the only reason why, for that specific stream, Potato and Luigi were trying to not have it end is because they farm channel points. <laughs> Which is fine, you know, I love channel points. I heckin' love farming points. I do use them, but you need to use them more. Because... I think the best part about using emotes in chat 
is it's fun for the viewer and it's also nice seeing your own emotes used in your chat room right because i think a lot of mine are based around reactions like you know peace i to gas peace i to bro because it's meant to be used throughout the stream consistently and i think it's also really good for branding because what better branding is there than your own name or your own face It's very recognizable, in my opinion, too. Yeah, well, I think I wiped out this island. Remind me to get medicine. How many tickets are we in now? Just one. That was our first island. I think I have enough for 20 attempts because I have about 40,000... Excuse me, 40,000 miles? Oh, <laughs> she scared me. <laughs> Why is she just waiting at the dock, bro? Calm down. What is nice, though, is that we have two penguins on the island, so the likelihood of Aurora actually spawning is increased. So hopefully, surely after a year, we'll finally find her, right? Imagine- okay, okay. Are there any villagers that are like amiibo or little character card exclusives? Because I know we've looked it up before, but I think Aurora is still like possible to be spawned. Your game must be bugged. Surely. You can buy any single villager as a card, really? That's crazy. <laughs> Get away. It's actually wild. I didn't know that. Okay, new prediction. Go Gamba. Go Gamba chatters. Do you think this attempt, this island, will be the one? Any believers? Oh, also, I have the question book today. In case I run out of shit to say. 1.9k? Oh, I also need to paint my nails. I painted them last week, but it's already, like, chipping off. But it's because, like, my nails are so fucking short. To where I'm not as, like, careful with them. Any believers? Any yesers? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna leak what one of the questions is for later. I don't know if I'll answer it today. But it's like, what's your favorite subject to discuss? <laughs> Obviously, since we're playing Animal Crossing, it's politics, right? Dude, imagine we find her right now. Imagine. Okay, let's actually dive into that question a little bit. <laughs> okay. What I like about these questions, this is not the answer to it, but I like how it kind of forces you to think on the spot because I think improv is something that takes a long time to develop, like learning how to conduct yourself in a way that is like... Because there's different approaches that I take when it comes to stream commentary. I usually try to be informative and like try to speak as eloquently and as clearly as I can. And then there's some times where I, I try to be funny and I goof and gaff. So that, that's what I really like about it. 
and I have gotten better at learning how to connect different topics to each other. Granted, there are still times where I have dead air and you just can't find the tangent to connect to each other. But I think that's part of the challenge, and it takes a lot of time to learn how to do it. The only thing that I'm still fucking struggling with is my goddamn stutter. I, I tweeted about this the other night. Oh, okay, that was the night I was feeling like really fucking sad for some reason. I think that was Wednesday. It was, like, I don't think playing Amori like triggered me. Because after I played the game, I was fine. But just in general, I was feeling super anxious that day. Because, you know, it'd be like that. And then I thought to myself in the evening, I was like, I was like, did I get fucking triggered? Uh huh. But I think it was just bad RNG. You know, it, it happens some days. But, because I remember I was at, I, I felt like bad, and then I was like, you know, I should try and do something. So I was like, I'll, I'll edit some VODs. And then, I think I was working from like 6 to 7.30 p.m. And, because the way I edit my VODs is I watch it back in its entirety, and then I trim out parts that could be good for a clip. And then, so if I'm watching back like two hours of footage, I'll trim out probably, I'll probably keep a quarter of it. So that way I have about like 20 to 30 minutes of footage and then that's condensed to um, a minute per clip. So 20 minutes is about 20 clips. And I had got done trimming. And when I trim, I try my best to cut out any stutter. Because a stutter that I, I, I just did it. I just did it. A stutter that I have is I will repeat I a lot. So there will be some times where I watch by Gavad and I will say I in succession for And that's normal. And I try my best to like trim it out. So whenever I'm trimming in clips, even if it's like a second in between where I break my train of thought, I will trim out that second and then also trim out the extra one or two I's that I say. I think... It's not that, okay, I'm obviously like insecure about it, but then it's also to kind of like make what I'm saying more cohesive. Because when you're working with like short form content, you have to make sure it's quick and the way you communicate is effective. So if I keep in a stutter, then it's going to kind of diminish that to some extent, right? And I haven't necessarily gotten any comments about my stutter in a long time. The only comments that I get recently are like, oh, your mouth isn't moving. Lamau. I haven't gotten those in a while either. My comments have gotten nicer. But it's also because, like, the algorithms aren't pushing my videos as much, so just less people see them. See them. Oh, they're cute! You turn around! Oh. Okay, their eye makeup is kind of scary. Never mind. They looked adorable, but I don't like their makeup. So anyway, I was like editing and I got done trimming and I was like working on like adding animations and stuff. Because like the animations that I add is just like a simple slide in translation for having chat edited in after. So it's nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. And then I I was watching back some of the footage and I was like, damn, I can't do this anymore. Because <laughs> when I edit, I have to be in the mood to edit. Because you kind of, like, have to be in the mood to, like, listen to yourself for hours and end. And just... Not that sitting through a VOD is bad. Because I think if you can't watch back your own content and like what you said or think that you're not funny to some capacity, then maybe you're just not fucking entertaining, okay? Because I see small creators saying that, Oh, I don't like making... YouTube videos or edited content because I just hate rewatching myself and it's like you can't focus yourself on just one platform or one aspect of creation. If you want to succeed in today's current quote unquote market, the oversaturated market of content creators on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, any site, you have to be versatile. You have to know how to do everything. Because when there's people who perform better than you, who know how to do everything, how are you going to perform better than them? So, you know, you have to learn how to edit, you have to learn how to do social media, you have to. If you want to succeed and maintain your audience whenever you do have the chance to garnish a larger platform. 
Some people don't like hearing their own voices. I can respect that. I used to not like listening to myself either. But a big thing that helped me is I just did it. I, I just did it. And I think because over time, you can gradually see yourself improve. Like watching back a VOD from like a year ago, even from six months ago. I can see how much my confidence has changed, my commentary has changed, my overall like dynamic has changed. So you just need to focus on that, you know? I gift you a sub? Oh, you're breaking my bank! But thank you for redeeming Crystal, we'll get you that gifted. Or just stream for fun, not wanting to necessarily succeed? Um, I think that is a really good perspective to have. And not a lot of people have that perspective. Because I think once the idea of money gets involved, then people look past it. I, I always talk about this all the time. I think it's important to still have fun with every single stream you do. Try to focus on the actual conversations and the key moments in the stream rather than your overall average viewer count or sub count for every stream. Um... So don't get too clouded or clouded over analytics or numbers because that's just going to muddy the water. Yeah, I like, I would love to do more like after effects and stuff, but my main focus is what I'm actually saying, like the substance of the clip that I post. So I really like trimming a lot. Okay, it's processing. Hold. Hey yo, there you go, and Jerry gifted sub crystal. Okay, Meg Esports only has enough for one more sub this month, so nobody better fucking redeem. Or there's get on it. <laughs> <laughs> but enjoy your gifted sub. Can we get some weesons? Yeah, chatters. Um, please. Meg Esports is very broke. Please, if you want to support the art channel, go watch that new TikTok. It's not new, I lied. Go watch it, go leave a comment, please. Please. Weiss. <laughs> oh, what was I talking about? Yeah, I would like to more learn more VFX, but it's just... Oh, I think that I... I was thinking about this last night. I don't like when people add captions to short form videos because okay when I say add captions I don't mean like the auto generated captions you know how people will add like captions just to have something moving on screen and to catch your attention I don't like it because to me that goes against the whole point of what closed captioning is supposed to be Closed captioning is an accessibility tool. It's not an after effects. It should not be treated as so. Captions are not meant to be the pow or shazam text you see in comic books. And that's how a lot of people treat closed captionings in vertical video as a reason. If you look at any clip you see that has like a big flash of caption text, that only shows for half a second, that's what it's meant for. It's not for actual accessibility. I fucking hate it. You pay your friend to do that stuff? Good. Very good. <laughs> I would love to hire like an editor to edit down like gaming streams, but Meggy Sports does not have the money. <laughs> Because I was thinking about it, and look at my VOD channel on YouTube, um, go subscribe. I want to hit a million subs this year. But I basically just upload the full VOD in its entirety. But I think the VOD channel would do more successful <clears throat> if I uploaded just the segments of stream. So if I had, like, the Mario Kart, and then Animal Crossing, and then Calligraphy as separate videos, I think that would perform better. And then... Because that's what I think a lot of bigger channels do, like established streamers do with their VODs. Um, just so they can, like, clickbait better. Or, like, title better as well. But ultimately, I would love to have every single gameplay stream edited into, like, highlights. 
But in order to do that, I would need... Because I, I can't do that myself. That's way too much. That's way too much. Granted? Granted. If I didn't have school, like, once I graduate, I'll obviously have more time. But then it's like, I need to start working by then. <laughs> so... <laughs> Lombo. So I could start doing that during summer. Because I think I graduate in July. So, I don't know. That's what I'd like to have happen. Like, once I can afford it... Then that's the path I want to take. Because I uploaded just, like, the 20 minute full game length of the Fortnite stream where I won. And that video on the Clips channel got- it was a 20 minute video when that Clips channel is just a vertical video. That video got 60- he got 69 <laughs> views in the first day, which is pretty good for, like, an uploaded video for that channel. Um, because like I said, I only really upload shorts on that channel. So, I know it's probably best to keep everything on one channel. But you know how, like, <laughs> the example I think of is Mr. Beast, right? Like, he has, like, his main channel, where they do, like, highly produced content. And then they have, like, the gaming, I think he has a reacts channel, too. I like the idea of having everything separated. I think I would like to have like a piece in gaming channel where it's just like gaming highlights uploaded. And then if I can afford an editor, I'd like to have like the gimmicky streams edited into comps or highlights. So like how we did the Christmas streams or how we're going to do like Valentine's streams in February. I think those would be updated for like a, more of a main channel vid. But... That can only be done once I have consistent income, so... You know, I gotta, I gotta get a blue-collar job. My blue-collar. Yeah, blue-collar is like laborers, white-collar is like office work. Anyway, go Gamba, go Gamba Chatters. Do you think we'll find her? Surely. You say to income? <laughs> Because, like, just looking at my expenses... How much- okay, how much would an editor cost a month? So, like, it would fully depend on how many hours they work, and the competitive rate is 25 to 30 an hour. Because, like, even if I could afford, like, 500 a month, that'd probably be enough for, like, five videos, right? Because a hundred, three hour, three to four hour job. I don't know, because like, I know I say cuz like as well a lot. Oopsie. You could hire like Fiverr editors, but I feel like when you hire an editor who doesn't know you or your content, then it just has the wrong appeal. Because there's some services that I see to where, ooh, I will watch your stream, I will clip your stream, and then I will edit those clips. But then the clips that they choose to make, like the moments from stream, just don't really make sense or aren't consistent with like your brand image, and it's just weird to me. I think that's why it's working pretty good for how the monthly compilation that my regular viewers are the ones who choose the clips that are in it. Or they choose the base clips and then I, I kind of... I kind of um, fine tune which ones I want to actually put in the comp. Is it new for Twitch to so sub goal in about sections? It's kind of new. It was on beta. It's probably open to everybody now, but it's cool because then people can see your your follower or your sub goals when you're offline. It's cool. I mean, I don't think many people notice it. It's only available on desktop, so mobile viewers won't see it. I think it's it's to encourage people to subscribe when they're on desktop. Because if you subscribe on mobile, you are um, DUM. There's an extra dollar service fee, and you are literally scamming yourself. I'm 
trying to think of ways to improve my clips account content because I think a big reason why I plateaued is because my clips are too similar. It's the same game. I talk about similar things, even though it's a different topic every clip. I think the issue is you can't differentiate if you've watched the clip or not because it's always has a piece of gameplay on it. Because I was just like scrolling through my feed just to see like which videos did well so like I'm like physically scrolling through all the videos I posted and because if you're given a video and you feel like you've seen it before you'll just swipe up and I think that's why my videos have plateaued and haven't been performing as well and that's fine I just need to find a way to work around that and I think the best way to encourage growth on TikTok especially is your comment section. Like you have to get people to engage and you also have to reply to every single comment you get. Because I've noticed as of recent my video is being pushed to more non-followers. If you have views turned on you can see who has viewed, you can see who has liked the video. And I, I scroll through to see like who views the video and a lot of them are non-followers. So in order to get those people to actually follow, you need a call to action, and what happens a lot too is somebody will leave a comment and they're like a non-follower, and if you reply to that comment jokingly, then they will follow you typically. Because I think the comment section is just another way to showcase your personality. Anyway, um, social media tips from peace and underscore 17 a person who has no platform yay even though i have like a very small platform i think for somebody my size i get decent engagement whether it be like actual twitch shatters people who engage with offline content it's pretty decent so i suggest posting your reactions from memory i could do that but the, the issue with Amori is I don't think I would want to post certain moments to like TikTok, especially if the audience is younger. So that's something you also have to keep in mind, because the moment you have a video that's like flagged on YouTube or TikTok, the algorithm will basically suppress your stuff, and I want to do my best to avoid it. And I understand that Amori is rated mature. Because, you know, there are scenes that are mature. So you need to be careful. And I know it was recently, like a few weeks ago, YouTube enacted a policy that they basically put into effect. <laughs> they just need to age up. <laughs> yeah, they need to grow up. <laughs> yeah, just fucking grow up, kid. Anyway, YouTube has a new policy to where you can't curse consistently throughout a video. So if you say, like, bleep or bleep too much, then you could get your whole video demonetized. And I was like, oh, frick. <laughs> so I don't... I think the VOD channel, whatever. Whatever. If it gets boomed. But definitely for any, like, edited content, I'm gonna have to, like, start bleeping out slurs. Because I don't bleep. I just trim out the audio, so it just mutes. Oh my god, hi, wolf. Rare wolf presence. Can we get some peace I to yo's? You know who also can't say yo? The non-subs. Because guys, we are in our in stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing with your... Wait, wait, fuck. <gasps> YouTube's gonna demonetize me. Frick. Wait. Five of Skippy Coffee and get ad free with all my Or you can link every or you can hashtag sub for free with Prime by linking Amazon Prime Dear Twitch. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime available. <laughs> Dude, you would think I basically have it memorized, but I still mess it up sometimes. Okay, anyway, get some water, get a snack. We will see some of you guys in a few after the ad. Or if you have to watch the ad, um go watch the new TikTok. Go like it, go leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. And get some snacks too. Dude, this camera is so nice. Or it's not the camera, it's the lens. Hmm.
Oh, I'm also transitioning to... Oh, okay. okay. So, I, I said this before, but I get email alerts for whenever I get a new grade. And, oh my god, I, I submitted my project last night. It's another coding assignment. Because we last week we learned HTML, and then this week we learned CSS. And I submitted my CSS project last night, but then I woke up this morning, and I was like, fuck, frick, I forgot. Because you had to upload the actual, like... Uh, HTML about and then the style sheet, but I forgot to upload the style sheet, so I was like, frick. So I, I, I emailed my professor, I was like, please. I was like, hey, I forgot this part. Here's a resubmission. If you can look at it, that's great. If you can't, I'll do better next week. <laughs> so it's not due till tonight, so. CSS is fake coding, but it's so much easier. It's so much easier. There's so much less shorthands to know. Anyway, I got an email alert from my other assignment, and I got 100 on it. Easy. Hopefully they see my resubmit. <clears throat> anyway. You learn coding in 7th grade? What? That sounds like some private school shit. The only computer class we had was learning how to use the word. Or word document. Not the word. You had coding class in high school? What? Okay, granted, most of you guys are younger than me. I graduated... <laughs> nearly six years ago. In summer, it'll be six years. Holy moly. You had to take certain classes for it to be available to you? Oh, is it kind of like how... It's like a, you had to take prerequisites? Damn. The only thing we had close to, like, my high school was pretty good. Like, they had a lot of programs in it. They had, they had a whole separate section for culinary classes. They had a car shop class. So they had a lot of different, like, electives you could choose. But there, wa they, there weren't a lot of electives concerning tech. The only thing that I could take was, like, a basics to, like, graphic design class, and that was boring as freak. HTML and CSS are not really coding. Um, actually. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Oh, I didn't heal my face. I'm ugly. Oh, I didn't answer the question from earlier. See? You know, it's been an hour, and I just go on so many tangents. That's the glory. We have fun here. Um, type 1 if you're having fun. Mods ban crystal. Not joking, do it. <laughs> One day, I'm not gonna be joking. And then whoever gets banned is gonna lose their mind. Three? What does three mean? But welcome in, Cokes. Peace out to you. Yo. Oh, no! No, I didn't mean to click the- I don't want to play with you fuckers. I mean, you very nice people. <laughs> One day, I'm gonna get in trouble. Not actual trouble, but- <laughs> I, I name call a lot, and I need to tone it down. But I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> no mercy here? Never. I kind of just realized how big your channel is. I mean, considering that I've only been streaming for a year and a half, I think my growth is pretty good. Anyway, chatters, go Gamba. That way you can see how much your channel points will grow. Um. Yeah. 
And I think there's a reason why my channel has grown decently, and there's also why a, a reason why it's not growing quickly. Because I think it's better to have consistent, slow, steady growth than pop off and peak. Oh, I can see them already! I can see them already! Damn it. And we have 13k in doubt to imagine. Imagine she spawned. That would get crazy. You see, I'm indifferent about doing collabs for like YouTube or Twitch. I opened my YouTube studio the other night and there was the prompt is explicitly stating a consistent way to grow your channel is to do collabs regularly. But I just saw it and it felt so disheartening because I feel like collabs are an artificial way to grow. Because when you do collabs, you aren't going to get a lot of crossover followers because if you were to collab with someone bigger, you might get a good handful of new followers, but those new followers don't know who you are yet. They don't know your style. So they'll probably follow but not watch or enjoy your content genuinely. That's definitely why, even though I've been streaming for a year and a half, I've only really done, like, a small handful of collabs. And all the collabs that I've done were from people who were similar in size, who were maybe triple or four times my size. But I didn't see a lot of crossover. Because collaboration events don't do a lot to showcase your personality, especially if, in, if it's in, like, a larger group. So, I think it's a lot better to try and do your own stuff, develop your own personality and your own brand, before you try and do collabs. Yes, collabs is good for exposure, but there's pros and cons to it. Like I said, just because you get exposure doesn't mean you're going to garnish genuine viewers and enjoyers. Posting offline is a good way to grow? Yes, it is. I want to, like, do IG more. I want to post an IG more. But I just... Okay, when I think of Instagram, I think of food and then, like, cute pictures. But... <laughs> Not that I don't think I'm cute. It's just, like, I... It, it takes a lot to gain that confidence, you know? To post more pictures of yourself. And I feel like if I had somebody who could, like, take pictures for me, then I would post pictures more. But I don't want to post, like, selfies all the time. Also, we got a new follow. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Thank you for redeeming Wolf. We will do calligraphy at the stream for you. TikTok is probably your best for gaming clips. Yep. Yep, TikTok or YouTube. Oh my god, I opened YouTube this morning. Does anybody default when they open the YouTube app? Has it ever, like, just automatically pulled up your shorts feed? It did that to me this morning, and it's never done that. And I was like, oh, fuck. I do not want YouTube to, be to become TikTok. Yes? Oh, dude, please. I hate it. It's only happened to me once, but I don't want it to happen again. Because it's not that I don't like shorts content. It's just, it's not what I go to YouTube for. Because when I go to YouTube, I expect, like, more polished, more refined content. Because, you know, I'm dissing on myself, okay? I'm dissing on myself. But shorts content is meant to be, like, easily digestible. It's meant to catch your attention. It's not meant to have a lot of substance. I will sing a song? Okay. My friends who use YouTube shorts are annoying about it. I have one friend. Okay, I think they recently just downloaded TikTok, but they refused to for the longest time. And they would, <laughs> instead of sending me TikToks, they would send me fucking YouTube short links. Because <laughs> they would send me a YouTube link. I'm like, oh my god, a YouTube video, but then I, it'd be a fucking short. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Your dad watches shorts? Dude, this actual boomer shit. Okay, let's sing a song. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna mute the mute the audio that way I can hear it. 
YouTube shorts are actually doing great though. I know. And I have a new, or the new monetization eligibility is up for some people. So in order for me to get monetization, I either need a thousand subs, I need, fuck, frick, four, so, something, some hundred watch hours, and then like 10 million shorts views. Which is a lot. Oh, this is going to be really loud, ain't it? Okay, I think I want to sing a song that I haven't sung in a while. It's by Rihanna. Oh, wait. Can anybody guess what the song is? I'm not going to say what it is. Oh, okay. I know what it's called now. <laughs> I had to, like, sing the chorus in my head to remember what it's called. Wop? No, Rihanna did not sing that. You silly goose. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, people can use their channel points, and I will sing a song. This is a song by Rihanna. I wish I could sing Umbrella. That would go crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do the final verse. I've sung this song before many times, but it's been a while since I've done it. <clears throat> oh, should I do the first verse, actually? Ooh, Disturbia would go crazy. <laughs> you know what's funny? You know what's funny? On YouTube desktop, if you put your cursor over the timeline, it'll say most replayed part. <laughs> <It'll> <laughs> I can just imagine what certain replays of videos could be. Okay. If everybody could um, spam your favorite animated, your favorite hype emotes, I would appreciate it. We're going to sing. If whoever guesses the song first gets a high five. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to skip to the actual final verse. <clears throat> okay, it's coming up. One insane couple, but it's over now. Ah, it's so fun. It's so fun to sing. I love it so much. But there we go. Yes, you guessed right. Take a bow. I think it's one of my favorite songs by her, like ever. It's, it's so good. I wanna, I wanna do the, I wanna learn the other verses. I always do the last verse because I like the the vocalization in it, but I need to learn the first two. <clears throat> it's like, you look so dumb right now, standing outside my house, trying to apologize. You're so ugly when you cry. Just cut it out. Yeah, I'm learning it. It's like... I don't like it as much, but I'm, I'll learn it for next time. But thank you for redeeming me with, and thank you guys for chatting. Thank you. Get okay, back to motherfucking gaming. We're a gaming channel. No more singing cringe. <laughs> Is singing cringe, tab one? But... It's over now. Oh, come on, come on. The bees always spawn in the worst 
unreachable spot. My finger slipped your line. You are skirting on thin ice day, Crystal. I think that's the second rude thing you've said today. You know what else is rude? <laughs> okay, I was thinking about this the other day. And so much of my stream structure is reminiscent of Hassan's dreams. And I know it's bad, but you know, he's my favorite. And of course you emulate the people you like, okay? Because you know, the way I do my intro when I actually like turn my cam on, the, the adjubates. Okay, I think those are the only two things that I um, take inspiration from. But I think it's just because I find his stream so comforting. I am still- I'm, li I'm literally two weeks behind on his VODs and I need to catch up. And the only reason why I watch every single VOD is since he covers news, I feel like if I miss one then I'm gonna miss like key part of the news, right? And I think that's why commentary and news content does so well. Oh, I need medicine. Can't be looking all busted. I have no medicine. Damn. Sad day. Okay, should we, like, dive into the questions now? <laughs> oh, talking about politics. <laughs> As I've gotten older, I've become more brazen and more opinionated. But I've also gotten better at learning when to speak my opinion. Especially when it comes to online, I guess, debates or arguments. Because you have to go into a conversation with the understanding that not everyone will necessarily agree with you, but you still have to treat the person with respect. Like, you can't be calling people stupid for not agreeing with you. Even if it's a seemingly non-progressive opinion, you still have to treat that person with respect. Because if you're going to be immediately combative or argumentative and not listen to the reason why they think the way they do, then they're just gonna ostracize you and villainize you more. And I know I like talking about politics. I think it's very interesting because a lot of people's politics is related to their morality. So you can see how they see the world through their politics. But you have to talk about it in a way to, even if you don't agree with people, you still have to understand where they're coming from. Because a lot of people's lived experiences will contribute to their morality and world perspective. So if you don't agree with somebody, or they don't agree with you, you have to that you have to handle that conversation in a way that's productive and not accusatory. Let's talk about the LGBT tag, dude. Did you guys see the article saying how you shouldn't say queer? I saw that this morning, and it's interesting because queer to me, it was used. Or I use it as an umbrella term. And the reason why the article is saying don't say queer is be is because queer is an all-encompassing term. Because a lot of people will use the rigid, even though it's meant to be inclusive, the rigid structure of LGBTQ to not include, like, intersex people. Wait, that's the I, fuck. <laughs> to not include people who are, like, non-binary, right? Um, because they're like, oh, well, if you don't fit these rigid, or if you don't choose one, then you are not valid. Um, yes, it's people still do use it as an insult, but I think similar to other words, the community can choose to reclaim it and use it how they choose, and it's not necessarily always going to be used in a negative or derogatory way. So I understand some people may have traumas associated with the word, but within your like smaller circles, you and whoever is in that circle can determine what's appropriate to use with each other. Yeah, because I know I 
identify under B, right? You know, bisexual. But there may come a time where... Because I'm very confident in that identity. But there are some instances to where... I think some people will see bisexuality as only liking, like, uh, cisgender people. But I think it includes, like, non-cisgender people. You know, I don't- I think I'd like the idea of pursuing, like, a non-binary person. I think that's totally fine. No. Because I- I think the better term for me would- I think pan would be the better identifier. But I haven't experienced it yet. So I don't know if it's appropriate for me to identify that way. So, like, I know when people ask me my identity, I usually will say, like, queer. But if somebody is looking for, like, something more specific, then I'll say bi. But I think that's why queer is such a good descriptor, because it can be more umbrella-encompassing. Anyway, because the only people who try to use queer nowadays in a derogatory way is meant to be exclusionary. Like has it, how I said earlier, it's meant to ostracize people who don't necessarily fit in rigid identities. Like it's only used by like TERFs, which is... What's, what's it stand for? It's like trans exclusionary radical feminist TERFs. Dude, Mac, how did your message not get auto-modded? <laughs> Mods ban Mac. <laughs> Mac, why'd you type it if you thought it'd get banned? <laughs> okay, maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. Maybe it's contextual. Maybe Automod was like, hmm. It's like, hmm. <laughs> Scratching its head. <laughs> yeah, it gave you the pass. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> I can't. Uh... <laughs> Chatters, don't be trying to test Automod, okay? Don't, don't, don't try to, like, don't test it. <laughs> Automod right now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, y'all are wilding out today. <laughs> This is not how we leave a good impression, Chatters. Okay, so I answered the what is my favorite subject to discuss politics easy. <laughs> Automod aware. <laughs> I mean, Automod is pretty good. Actually. Because the way I have my chat set up, I... I don't see whatever gets caught by Automod. It just automatically gets deleted, gets thrown into the void. So, I- cause like, for example, if we ever did, I- I don't see what the message says, I just see an icon that says, Oh, five messages were caught by Automod, but it doesn't- I can't- I can choose to see them, but I choose not to. So like, if we ever to were get, um, H-A-T-E-R-A-I-D'd, then I would see that it's happening, but I would not see the messages. And then chat would not see the messages, but I would see that it's happening. Um... So, yeah. Because it's bound to happen one day. But you guys know what to do if it does happen. You know, you just spam your emails. Have fun. Pretend everything's okay. Pretend that mom and dad are not fighting, you know. The day when you guys were trying to say <laughs> curry pies, I know. It's so good. We're talking about oatmeal cream pies, of course. Of course. Clueless. At least Automod doesn't delete Lamau anymore. Remember that meta? Oh, 
Oh, I gotta buy more tickets. After four attempts, still no luck. Dude, imagine we actually find her. I'm about to go crazy. <laughs> I'm also transitioning to like a new... Not diet. But the other day when I was at the shop... I saw... Okay. I saw... It was specifically marketed as like... Weight loss protein. And I was like, sure, I'll try it. So, it says to have it for every meal, but I don't think I could have liquid meals all day, every day. So I'm transitioning to, cause it's like cupcake flavored. And you're supposed to mix like two like scoops that are this big. This is three inches for people who, <laughs> three inches. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so it's like two scoops of like protein powder and then I mix it with water and milk and then that's kind of like my breakfast lunch for the day But then I'll still have like a regular dinner because that protein drink is like 200 calories But you still get like all the nutrients that you need to like still like survive So I'll try it for a month and see how it goes Because it's not that I want to be skinnier it's just, in order for me to, like, function better and be healthier, I need to lose, like, 40 pounds. So. Because I think at my lightest, when I was still, like, overweight, because I'm short. I'm very short. So, like, if I was, like, 5, 6, then my BMI would be so much better. But since I'm fucking short as hell. Like, if I were the way... If I was the weight I am now, and if I was like 5'8 or 5'6, then my BMI would be so much better. But... I'm like 5'2, so... <laughs> I need to lose a lot. And it's not a laxative. I made sure it's not a laxative. Because I think the diet programs where they're essentially like fucking laxatives, you're it's gonna fuck up your bowels. And it's not- that's not, like, maintainable. Because, like, the reason why I haven't done, like, dieting before is because it, it's expensive. It's hard to, like, be consistent with it if you don't have control over your meals. But... I think now that I have control, and now that I kind of know how to budget when I go grocery shopping, I think now I can, like, actually start cooking a bit healthier. Oh, for dinner she has the shake things? Damn. I think it's better in the morning because the first time I made it, because you're supposed to mix like two scoops with like 12 ounces of liquid, and you know those big ass mason jars, like the 16 ounce ones? It was basically one of those full, and I, I couldn't finish it the first time I tried it. So I'm just gonna like sip on it for like the first few hours of my day. Granted, I'm gonna have to, like, exercise regularly as well. You can't just rely on, like, eating healthy. It has to be, like, collectively. You have to improve yourself. But... Anytime that I do exercise, I'm just exhausted. Like, I'm done for the day. Like, I can't. My body hasn't, like, healed enough yet. And it's a bummer. But, you know, hopefully doctors will figure out what's wrong. Ooh, I have an MRI later this month. Did I tell you guys that? So I get to sit in a radioactive metal tube for two hours straight. It would be one hour, but since they have to get two scans done, it's gonna take two hours. So, yay. We'll do a story time after the MRI. <laughs> Damn, your mom sounds like a hard worker. That's really admirable. I wish I could do that shit. Shout out to Max Mom. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay. You know how I said earlier I resubmitted my my project for this week? I got an email and they said both submissions were fine. Thank fucking god. <laughs> okay. Okay, because he they said Okay, thank- I'm good, I'm good. I- cause like, I woke up this morning, I was like fucking freaking out. I was like, fuck, I cannot afford to get a fail on this assignment. 
But we good. They said I the resubmit was perfect. I'm so thank fucking god. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, Crystal. That uh, I hate. I have heard stories of like people being in gym class and like the teacher would say the students wait out loud or they'd you'd have to like weigh yourself in front of other students and that's fucking crazy. It's crazy. Oh, you know what made me super insecure about my weight? Because I think we got the Wii Fit board when I was 8 or 9. Because it came out in 2008. Wait, we got it when I was 10. 9 or 10. Anyway, go Gambit. Talking about bad habits, go Gambit. And I remember I stepped on the Wii Fit board. Because 10 was like 3rd or 4th grade, right? And I used to be super skinny. I used to be like really fucking skinny. Like a little twig. But <laughs> when puberty hit in like fourth grade, I gained a lot of weight. So I've been like overweight ever since. And I'm fine with it. I like how I look. It's just like I said earlier, I need to lose weight so I'm a bit healthier. So I can function better. But I remember I stepped on the Wii Fit board and the sound goes do 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 if you're overweight. And then it's fucked up because the imagery and the graphics they use for like the the weight. It shows your character being skinny, and as the scale goes up, it fattens your character. Which is messed up, right? We'll do Wii Fit for sure when I get the Wii hooked up for Wii Week later. This <laughs> Wii Week? <laughs> it sounds like Wii Week. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely do- Fuck, am I gonna have to show my weight on screen? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Shit, anyway, so like the graphic would show the person being skinny and then fat as fuck. So, little fourth grade Megan was just like, damn. <laughs> it shows your BMI. I thought it showed my weight. Yeah, I can just cover it. I mean, fuck, it's not Aurora. Guys, today's a bad day. Well, if you're so sweet, you're so sweet. I saw your reassurance. You're adorable. Um, fuck, we're never gonna find her. It shows everything. I don't care. <laughs> I, I've said my weight before, right? I think I have. Also, don't guess my weight is. If you put 200, you're fucking DED in Minecraft. Okay, anyway. You know who won't be on my bad list? People who follow the channel. Because, guys, we're another 30 minutes in the stream, so time for me to tell you if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and you get to tap and chat. Wowie. You had roll climb in gym class? Dude, I would literally fall and crack my head open. My arm strength is not good. I'm very weak. I'm good at, like, lifting. Like, if I have to lift with my whole body, like, if I'm lifting up crates or boxes, I can do that. But if I'm, like, lifting up a bar or holding my weight up, I can't do it. Even when we had, like, weight class and in, in PE... Oh, come on. <laughs> even when we, when we had weight class on PE, I couldn't even lift the bar. That's how poor my arm strength was. They had a map below you, but dude, falling? Falling from any height scares me. Because if you fall wrong, you can, like, die. Oh, yeah, I did track in sixth grade. And I thought I was the fastest kid in the whole school. But the only race I got in was the relay race. And I was the last person of the relay because I was the fastest of the four of us. And I have this thing to where I need to see where my feet are going. So if I'm walking upstairs or if I'm running or if I'm biking too, I will like always consistently glance down to see where my feet are. Partially because I don't want to, like, step in actual dog shit. So even when I was running on the track, I would keep my head face down the whole time I was running. Because in order for me to run properly on the track, I had to, like, see the little white lines in between that I had to run between. So I remember watching back a video my mom took of that relay race, and I just had my head down like this the whole time. I was running super quick, though. <laughs> but uh, nobody made fun of me, I, I don't think so, or nobody audibly made fun of me that I could hear 
but I remember my mom was like teasing me for it with all her, with all her middle-aged mother friends. We didn't win. Sad. Bad form. Shut up. That was sixth grade Megan, okay? And that was the only sport I ever did in school. Because sports is bullshit. They expect you to commit one to three hours outside of school. You can't get your homework done. The only notoriety you get is if you actually win or if you're fucking cracked at sports. Doing sports is not worth IMO. But the clout you get in school is pretty nice. I will admit. ever do sports as an adult, then I think I would like to take a dancing class. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> because I don't necessarily know how to dance. Like, I don't know the trendy ones. I'm not a TikToker, okay? Contrary to what you guys say. But I've always wanted to take a salsa class because I don't dance, but the one thing I can do is I can move my hips really well. Nobody take that out of context. I can move my hips surprisingly really well for somebody with my body type. Because I remember in Spanish class in high school, we would do like the regular like speaking lessons, but then we would do like a weekly like mini salsa dancing thing, and I was really good at moving my hips, okay? I was really good. But I, <laughs> the problem is, I can only rotate my hips one direction. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do the other way. I was really good at hula hoop too when I was younger. And you know, that's all about the hips. Guys, stop saying it's sus, okay? I will never do it on camera. Never. Unless. <laughs> Unless. Uh, two million subs and I'll do salsa on camera. Do Zumba? I've thought about Zumba. Cause there's a few gyms nearby. Cause like, I've considered getting a gym membership, but I think the only thing that I could like literally handle right now is just cardio, like just running on the treadmill. And it's like, I can just, I can't do that at home. Like I could do stairs at home if I really want to. But they have a few like aerobic classes that I could take. So maybe in summertime, once, you know, the doctors figure out what's wrong, then maybe I can do more like extensive exercise classes. Because I think going out to do stuff is good. Because I like doing the ring fit, but still going out for a walk is nicer in my opinion. The only issue when I exercise though is... What's a nice way of saying it? Guys, I'm sounding very sus today. No, no clippers, no clippers. But, my skin is super sensitive, so if I'm wearing like longer sleeved or pants clothes when I exercise, I get really fucking itchy. So when I exercise at home, I usually wear like... Oh, what's it called? It's like the really tight underclothing that you... Like the bottoms. Is it, it's not Spanx. But... It's like really, really tight, short, like... It's like legging material, and then I wear like... A crop top. Compressions? Is that what it's called? So I usually wear that when I exercise. I exercise in my room so nobody can fucking see me. But <clears throat> that's how I'm most comfortable. And like, with my body type too, I don't know if I could ever wear like, even shorts com uncomfortably in a gym setting. Because you know, I don't mind if people wear crop tops. I'm very much with the sentiment. I think people can wear whatever you want as long as you're not showing, like, your actual, like, 
N-I-P-P-L-E or like your genitalia or like your actual ass. I don't mind. I think people can wear what you want because I think your clothing is an aspect of self-expression and you need the right to do so. Like, I don't mind crop tops. I think it's fucking fine. The only reason why people see it as an issue is because they inherently sexualize the female body and that's wrong. But you know, that's a societal problem that will take years and years to fix. <clears throat> but just in general, I don't think people like when plus size people wear shorter clothing. Like you're obviously gonna get stares and shit. Cause I remember one of my friends were out clothes shopping one day and they were like, oh you should try to wear a crop top cause it's during summer. And I was like, fuck no, fuck no. <laughs> Granted this was back when I was like 15 pounds lighter. So I had- I still had a tummy, but it's bigger now. <laughs> but still, fuck no. <laughs> okay, bye Wolf. We'll see you next time. People, bye. Thank you for hanging out. Good luck with your homework. But you know, good. You're prioritizing your homework over stream. Good student. <clears throat> Cause like, I think my dream, I'm usually not too femme, I don't like wearing dresses because it's very hard to find something that fits me well, right? But if I could have like, clothes that are tailored to my body type, I think that would go crazy. I would dress up so much more. hard to do but i gotta i know i know well vod will be published so we'll see you in the vod later <laughs> like i'm trying to convince my sister because you know how i told y'all she wants to make like barbie clothes i'm trying to convince her to like you know practice with me because obviously it's easier to sew bigger than smaller right so i'm like hey you should try, like, some patterns on me. You know? Because you know how I have a few of those, like, Juliet-style tops? I like the ones that are closer, or not closer, like, tighter on the bust, or, like, the upper or mid-torso, and then how they, like, plume out. Kind of like the baby doll tops. I love those a lot. And if she could make me some, dude, that'd go crazy. Because, like, I've been in the mood to, like, be more femme, I guess. But I don't want to buy new stuff because if I if I lose weight like I'm planning on to, right? Um, then obviously shit isn't going to fit. So it's like, I don't want to buy stuff. That'll fit me now. Anyway, chatters, go gamba, go gamba, go gamba, go gamba. <laughs> I just noticed there's like crusties in my controller. Ignore why did I say that out loud? <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> it, it's... <laughs> oh my god, I need to stop. This is why I shouldn't play Animal Crossing. It's just train of consciousness. Let's answer a new question. <laughs> you say too crusty. Oh, look. I like this villager a lot. This is Marina. Aren't they cute? Ooh, should we take them home? I, I used to have this person on my island before and I love them. They're so cute. Look at them. Like little blushes. You have her on your island? Oh. <laughs> I like how the eyes are, too. They're reminiscent of, like, the old Animal Crossing characters, but... It's not her. It's not my love. 
Also, Chatters, what do you think of my title today? Is it funny or is it too much? Because I, I have a few titles that I had dropped out of my head for Animal Crossing streams, and this was one of them. I think it's a bit like, on the nose. Does your mom have her own Switch? Hmm. Huh. That's the thing I do not like about Animal Crossing, this version, New Horizons, is that you have to have a whole different console to have a new island. That's, I think, the bullshit. Nintendo actually scamming. Oh my god! Okay, I was watching Stonepaw's stream yesterday. If you don't know Stonepaw, they're like, uh, Connor eats pants adjacent. But, um, he was reacting to, like, Super Nintendo World vlogs. Oh my god, guys, if I ever... If I ever have the chance to go to Nintendo World, I'm literally gonna cry. I'm gonna cry if I go. Just happiness. Because I don't watch a lot of vlog content, I don't watch a lot of travel content, but a thing that Stonepaw said yesterday that really resonated with me was like, the whole point of this type of content is so you get to feel the joy through them vicariously. And I was like, oh my god, that makes so much sense. Because I was getting, like, so happy watching the people in the theme park. Like, if I ever get to go... Because I've never been to any theme park. The only amusement park I've been to was Wild Waves. And that doesn't really count. And then I went to, like, our state fair a few times when I was younger. So I haven't gone to, like, a theme theme park. But if I ever get to go to Nintendo World, I'm fucking crying. And went to Disney as an infant? Yeah, I think it's weird how parents will take their kids to Disney when they're like under the age of five. Because they're probably not going to remember shit. And the kid isn't going to be able to get a go to go on any rides. Granted, the pictures will be cute. Because, you know, imagine like a little baby next to Minnie Mouse. That's probably so cute. But that's the only like merit. Everything else is like the kid is literally not going to remember. Okay, do you have to pay for admission if you bring a toddler in? Or if you have a baby? Are they... Did they get a free pass? Because if so, that's kind of cool. But traveling with the toddler has got to be a nuisance. Like, it has to be. Even traveling with, like, normal-ass kids is a hassle. Traveling in general <laughs> is a hassle. <laughs> I remember nothing. Damn, you got scammed. Oh, and Chatters, when I hit a million subs, we will do a subscriber-only trip to Disneyland. Any Oilers? Dude, how much- okay. Okay, let's do the math. A million subs, that's about two million dollars, before taxes, mind you. How many tickets could you buy? It would take a long ass time to get 2 million subs though. <laughs> Dude, imagine. You gotta fly us all too? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, how much would a trip, like just a regular Disney trip cost? Like probably like a few thousand, right? Max? Get us a private jet? No! No, that's not ethical. Didn't we cancel Can't Taylor Swift over the private jet? What if instead of getting everybody a plane ticket, I just got you guys a train ticket? Then you guys could experience the glory of public transit. Trains are pretty nice though, they're usually pretty comfy. Well, apparently Nintendo World for Florida Universal is projected to open in 2025. So maybe within two years, or three years, maybe we'll hit a million subs by then. Mm-hmm. Surely.
Oh, I can't jump back. I forgot. I think this is my favorite outfit in the game. I don't wear green often. IRL too, but it's still my favorite color. Did anybody see Amaranth's um, cosplay stream the other day? She did a collab with somebody who like RPs as Benjamin Franklin, and I assume she rented, but she had like this black and red gown that was styled like um, colonial style, and it was so pretty. Oh my god. Because they basically did like a four hour date RP stream. And it was so entertaining. Dude, her, her cosplay was crazy. I don't know if she posted pictures of it or not. Um, <laughs> like to say Amaranth is an adult channel. <laughs> I forget. I watch her occasionally, but I always watch whenever she does cosplay stuff because it's so cool. You don't watch her? Mm. <laughs> You know, I appreciate what she does, is what I'll say. <laughs> not a simp, okay? Not a simp. Her, her chat is very hard to read sometimes, though. Like, it, It's sad seeing how much harassment she gets. But, you know, as long as she's doing her own thing, I think she's fine. Chaz, new prediction is up. Go Gamba. Do you think we'll find Aurora on this island? I think this is our like sixth or seventh attempt of the day. Surely this will be the one. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say something, like, I had a thought in my head. She's gone. Oh, come on. Uh... We're not even getting that many cute villagers today. Did I used to stream Stardew Valley? Yes, I did. I think I streamed Stardew Valley from September till December, January of 2020 and then 2021. <clears throat> I liked the game a lot, but it wasn't a good stream game because it doesn't push my commentary enough. It's similar to Animal Crossing to where you do your dailies and there's not a lot of things to talk about or react to, so it's fully reliant on what you say. Who would you go to for marriage? Call me basic. But for my first two playthroughs, I went for the goth girl, the shop owner's daughter. But then every other playthrough I did, I would pursue like a different girl. I didn't, I never pursued the men. <laughs> Oopsie! 
engage. Because, you know, it's a game. Why can't I live with my fantasy, right? Oh, is Haley the blonde one? Like the, the frou-frou girl. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I think I went for Haley too. I went for the shopkeeper's daughter, Haley, and then the art girl. Because I like the cutscene I got when with the art girl. I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> Oopsie, I almost spoiled it. It's the artist who lives in the cottage by the river. By the barn. I don't remember her name. I don't know if I'll ever play Stardew Valley on stream again. I think I would if enough people wanted it. And if my channel is bigger. Because I don't know if I want to start a new playthrough. I pursued Sam and married him in one save. I regret. Come on, Mag. Why Sam? Come on. Fucking nerd. Cringe. But you know what else is cringe? Having to watch ads because chatters we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Keep your coffee, get ad of reviewing on the or you can hashtag sub for you with fuck. You can hashtag sub for you with Prime by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. Click subscribe, see if you have Prime sub available after the ad. We are gonna keep searching stream ends when I find the love of my life. <laughs> and if you're new to the channel, follow you. You can add another number to this counter. <laughs> Not creative at all? Shut up. You stream, see what happens. You know, we need to get to a point where people try and bait me into the ad. A few of you have tried. A few of you have tried. You guys need to try harder. Try hard. Okay, anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I think I might need a snack. Because what I have noticed with the protein jigs is that they're pretty filling. But since I drank it from, like... 9 a.m. I usually get hungry around this time. Oh, I forgot I have pistachios. I keep on forgetting today's Sunday. I keep on thinking it's Saturday, but it's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. With my glasses. Can you guys see how dirty my glasses are? Not really. My hair looks super dark today. Okay, I'm gonna clean my glasses. It's like one of those things you don't notice until you take it off and look at it. Crusty light the controller. Okay, I haven't cleaned my glasses in a while because the way I clean them, obviously with a cloth. But then I'll go in with a toothpick to, like, clean in between the frame and the lens. Oh, I actually have toothpicks here. I'll do that later tonight. Not now, because that's gross. And then I'll try to just, like, scrape out any gunk. Because, like, just, just in general, you touch your glasses a lot. There's oils on your finger, oils on your face. Ooh, much clearer. Also, we need to start a glasses fund, because my doctor keeps telling me that I need new glasses, but I can't afford it. Minus 200. And there's also, like, no cute frames, because these frames, they don't sell anymore. And I don't want to change frames, because what if I regret it? I don't want to.
<laughs> okay. Wait. I glance over at my book. Look at this question. Can you guys read it? <laughs> the question is, what annoys you the most about women? <laughs> What annoys the most about men as well? <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. I can't. Oh my god. What annoys you the most about non binaries? Pick a side, says a Republican, not me. <laughs> this book is great. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> oh my god. Let's look at if I were doing that. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I think one day I'll like skim through it and then. I'll like hand pick a few because right now I just like open to a random page and then pick a question. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> what annoys you about women? <laughs> I don't know, everything? Okay. You know everybody's cliche thing that they shit on men about? They're like, oh my god, they leave the toilet seat up. Urg, it makes me really mad. But I don't care. You know my dad would always put the seat down. And he forgets sometimes, or like my roommates will, and it's like I don't care. Cause like if you think about it, if they're expected to put the seat back down. They also have to lift it up every time they use the bathroom. They get it on the seat. Yeah, that's true, but then it's like... they Then they just have to clean it up after. I don't care. Because I'm not phased when I use a public bathroom. I understand that there's probably like... It's probably not clean. So I just clean it instinctively every time. I don't get how they don't have the courtesy to clean it up. It's just they weren't taught that from a young age. That's the problem. But I think the main people complain about is like, oh, they forgot to put the seat back down. But it's like, I don't care. Well, I'm like, I'm just not phased. I'm like, I don't care. The thing that does bother me with the bathroom, though, is when people don't wash their hands after. Because you can tell when people don't wash their hands. Like, if you hear the sink not running, there's been a few times where I've called up my dad. I'm like, hey, you didn't wash your hands, did you? He's like, no, I did. I'm like, well, I didn't hear the sink. And he's like, oh, you got me. <laughs> like, that's the only thing that really bugs me. Because it's like, if we're going to share a space, we got to make sure it's sanitary at least. Yeah, I don't get why people trash public bathrooms, and I think the reason why they do so is because they anticipate that somebody is expected to clean it, so I think that's why, just in America, there's so much litter, people don't respect public spaces. It's because they know that somebody's being paid to clean it, so they have the expectation. That, oh, I can do whatever I please in this space because somebody will always pick up after me. I think if there was a cultural shift to where people will take their own trash home or people will clean up their table after after they're done eating when they go out to eat, I think that would drastically change people's behavior. Another thing I don't understand is how in the states 
there's not more like janitorial staff on hand for public bathrooms. Because when I went to Japan, there were only two types of bathrooms. There were either like fully staffed bathrooms that had janitorial staff walking in literally every 10 minutes to clean up, or there would be just a pit in the ground. No in betweens. You either had nice ass bathrooms of bidets or just a hole. And I think if there was more budget allocated to maintaining and cleaning public bathrooms, I think people would use them more and probably also treat them with more respect. Because I know I feel anxious whenever I see like a janitor like walk out of a bathroom right before I use it. Because in my head I'm like, oh my god, it's just been cleaned. I have to like be extra clean even though I'm pretty clean when I use a public restroom. He only cleans the women's room once a month because it doesn't concern him. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. Oh, somebody still uses the broken toilet? See, people are- that's just dumb. That person's being dumb. <laughs> but see, like, if there were more public bathrooms, then I don't think private establishments would need to have an open restroom. Like, if they mandated to have a public restroom every X amount of square feet or every per capita population amount, I think that would drastically... or that would easily fix the problem. Because I'm thinking... Back in my hometown... There was literally only one public restroom, and that was in, like, the city park. I don't know about here because we just moved so i'm still learning the area but there's not i haven't just driving around i don't think i've seen any public restrooms i think conspiracy the reason why there's no public restrooms is so people will use private restrooms and then people feel obligated to buy something from the private re restaurants and then increase profit stocks easy Because at my workplace, during pandemic, we only had it was a, we only had one unisex, unisex bathroom that everybody had to share, so we closed it to all customers, and it was so nice. Because we didn't have to worry about it being like actual. <laughs> I was gonna say an actual shithole, but that's <laughs> it's not the right term. <laughs> but we didn't have to worry about it being like destroyed every day. Because, like, all it takes is one person to ruin it. Oh, talking about toilets, I got a golden toilet. Yeah, I think if there was more, like, if there was legislation mandating how many public bathrooms you need per capita, I think that would make everything better, but that will never happen because we are a capitalist society that hates the actual people that live within it. Anyway, talking about capitalism, go gamble. <laughs> I mean, go gamble, go gamble. <laughs> Like, how is a bathroom not a right? Hmm. Yeah, I remember I was watching like a mini dog video about why there's less public restrooms and the reason why it initially started as like an anti protest because women were protesting that men had more restrooms. 
Or no, they had to pay to use restroom stalls because in the men's restroom they would just have like a urinal, right? But for women, they had to pay to use an individual stall. So then there was this whole protest movement against having to pay for restrooms, which makes sense. But then to counteract the protest, they just got rid of restrooms and then it became privatized. And then they started charging for all restrooms. And then that trend kind of got diminished and then they just got rid of all the bathrooms. <laughs> so it's just an example of how society will always commoditize anything that you need that is considered essential. Nothing is an right. It was not explicitly written on the constitution that people don't see it as a right. I think people confuse the idea of rights with, I guess, human decency in the sense of you need several things to survive, right? You need water, you need shelter, clothing, food, and toiletries. Or not toiletries, but like a restroom, like a safe place to relieve yourself. But since we've all been conditioned and we are expected to pay for those things ourselves, we don't rely on the government to provide those things. We rely on like having to work to pay for those things. And it's just an endless cycle of working all the time to provide for your basic needs because they will never be provided under our government willingly because providing those things for free or even reduced pricing will cost money and capitalism will always minimize how much money is quote unquote being wasted on the population or spent my dad is so conditioned, he says, now if it's free, there's something wrong with it. See, that's how... That's just how it is. I think there's definitely arguments towards, like, discounted clothing or discounted food. Why it's good or bad. I think it's because, just in general, consumerism encourages you to buy consistently all the time to feel like you need to buy things to satisfy your needs or hobbies and also it makes you feel like buying new things is innovative and buying old things is looked down upon and it's just something that is very hard to unlearn and i think in order to change that perspective you have to look at what you value um, prime example, buying clothing. If you are able to buy clothing secondhand, it's still not the best option because those clothes were made in the first place. Granted, they weren't thrown away, but they were still made probably unethically or not good for the environment. But still, buying secondhand is better than buying like fast fashion. So if you're able to buy secondhand, So that is one way to look at how to implement your morality into your buying or spending habits. Also if you're able to see if you can buy things that are ethically made, domestically made in the states. Uh, it is very hard to do so because a lot of groceries even everyday items are made foreign or in foreign countries that way it'll keep it cheaper that's personally why i don't buy a lot of things from like the dollar store because you know those are obviously imported goods i think there are times where some product is not reject but product that wasn't sold <laughs> work for big Bad corporate dodgy, I know. That's why I'm like, can I talk shit? 
Because whenever I buy anything that's lower priced, all I can think about is how was it made to where it's this cheap. You know so much dirt? Ooh, Mac, you need to do a exposed video when you get a new job. That'd go crazy. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Because <laughs> the only demerit I see to, like, talking shit about your old workplace is that maybe your current or future employer will see that you talk shit and be like, oh, we don't want to hire this person because they'll, like, slander, quote-unquote, us. But it's like, how do you expect bad things to happen and not have people speak up about it? Because I think the reason why people share their negative stories and interactions is so it doesn't happen to other people. It's not like people are sharing their stories to, like, be mean or get clout. Like, we tell our stories so that other people are warned and aware of what's actually going on. That's why I don't like when people will speak out against individuals who speak out against whistleblowers or people who share their lived experiences. There's hotlines to snitch on people? Oh no! Dude, that's crazy! <laughs> you better be hoping nobody's reading Twitch chat. They offer money rewards? Bro! <laughs> How much though? You know, I'm broke. How much? <laughs> if I can toss somebody under the bus for it. I would do a lot of things for $20. Up to 1k, bro. Hmm. That's sounding pretty good, actually. <laughs> nah. I think that would hurt your reputation more, because you don't want to fuck over your co-workers, and they're the only people who make the job decent, right? Okay, talking about, like, talk snitching at work. Obviously, if somebody's rights are being violated, like, if somebody's being harassed, or if your work hours are not in compliance with LNI, obviously speak up then. But if it's issues concerning, like, work procedures? Mm, I don't know, there's, like, a line. There's a line. Because to me, if somebody is like, for example, you're working in a restaurant and somebody is like in telling you to serve bad food or expired food, that is bad. That is a public health concern. Then I would snitch. But... Hmm... Why is the time that I wouldn't snitch? I don't know. I, I think I would just snitch all the time. Because <laughs> like I said, the reason why you should speak up about things is because you don't know how other people are being affected by it. Okay, chatters in Mother Island, go Gamba. All your points. They have money rewards for people who might be stealing. Seems weird. Like, companies, they have insurance for theft. Like, they can claim that, oh, we had 1k stolen so they can easily get that covered by insurance. So, I don't understand why that is such a big concern for them. Like, obviously, stealing is bad, don't do it. But it's not as bad as compared to other things.
You didn't imagine she's on this island? That goes crazy. <laughs> I say that one time, or I say that every time in hopes that she actually does spawn and it'll be a good clip. <laughs> Something that does spook me during the winter season of Animal Crossing is the way the snow falls. The way it's animated is it shows in the background and the foreground and sometimes there's like a really big flake of snow and I low-key get jump scared. And I'm just like, whoa, I didn't see that coming. I remember there was one time I was playing and because you know the little owls that perch on the sign for the announcement board? I walked up to it and the birds like flew away and because they fly like right towards the camera and I paused the game or I took a screenshot of the owl right in front of the camera and it's just this huge white blob blocking the whole screen. I wish- I don't know if I still have that screenshot. I might. Wait, hold. I might actually. Let me see if I can find it. Hold? Because I literally took this screenshot years- <gasps> Years ago. Wait, I just- I just saw something else I need to tell you guys. I might have deleted it. But there's something else I have to show you from my gallery. And it's not my friend code. Nice try. Yeah, I think I deleted it. Oh, isn't this one funny? I have little ears. <laughs> the sound hurts your brain? I'm sorry. Well, the sound is weird. It's like... It sounds like somebody clicking their nails. The pitch is weird. Okay, I don't have the screenshot, but I do have something else to show you guys. Sad. I deleted it. Hey, what is this? So, I've been playing Pokemon offline, right? I found my first shiny in Pokemon. Wait, hold! What is that I see? A shiny Meditite? No way! So this was the other night. Very nice. So that was the first shiny I saw. And then I found another one. Wait, what was that on the left? <gasps> Isn't it cute, the pink version? Oh, like, I'm just staring at it. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. <laughs> okay, don't, okay, don't make fun of my party. Do not make fun of my party. Because... I don't know if I'll ever play Pokemon on stream. Oh shit. But the way I play is my goal is to get all my poke. Oh, I X'd out of it. My goal is to get all of my Pokemon to level 99. Crazy goal, right? Crazy. So I usually have two Pokemon that I keep in my team at all times. That way they just get super OP. One of them has sleep. That way I can battle when I want to catch them and put them to sleep. And then the other four Pokemon... I switch out, so I'll show it on stream one time. Maybe we'll do a sub-only Pokemon stream when I'm, like, feeling up to it. Because I don't think I'd ever do Pokemon for main mainstream. Unless I start a new whole save. Remember, if we had 250 subs, I'll play Pokemon. Um, so I swap out the four other Pokemon. So I have all my Pokemon to level 10. And then once they're at level 10, I level everybody up to 15. And then 20. And then 30. And so on. So... Basically, all the Pokemon that I've caught are at least level 15 right now. So I rotate them in and out. I'm psychotic. But yeah, I caught two shinies. I I do know that catching shiny, shinies is easier, but, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Because in every other Pokemon game I've ever played, which I played Pokemon Eevee, Pokemon Sword... And that's it. 
I've never gotten any shinies. So, you know, even if the RNG for shinies is higher in this game, I don't care. It still makes me feel good. And you know, fuck. <laughs> You know what else makes me feel good? Well, we get new follows. Chatters, if you're new here, follow the channel. You can get cool emotes and you can get to dive in chat. Wowie, you can hang out with everybody. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on and we don't miss a single stream. I think a lot of people are getting spoiled when they don't watch ads on like streaming websites. I know I myself get mad whenever I see an ad sometimes, like a pre-roll. But on Twitch, since people can run ads, I think max every 10 or 15 minutes, it's so hard to watch streams when ads are running. I think that's why I choose to run three every hour. Cause I think if I had to run them more often, y'all would not watch at all. <laughs> I know when I watch streams and they had ads and they had like mid rolls, if they were more than every like 30 minutes, I would just leave. I wouldn't watch. Because in my head, if there's a three minute ad every hour, that's not that bad. You know, that's time for you to get some water, use the bathroom. But having any more than that, I think is too much. And if you think about traditional television, we are for sure like getting spoiled because they would run ads like every like 10 fucking minutes. And that's the normal. And all you little kids watching cartoons will like, eat the ads up. Be like, oh my god, new Hot Wheels track toy. So I can understand why people complain about ads on Twitch, but it's still nothing compared to more traditional media concerning ad density. Because the reason why I choose to run three, I could run one minute every hour if I really wanted to. Because I think that's my minimum. I don't have any ad incentive enabled. Because if I had ad incentives enabled, then I'd have to have scheduled ads. And I feel like that would ruin the stream. Because, you know, we like the debates. We like them. Uh, what was I going to say? So... Talking about CPM... Ad density. Oh yeah, the reason why I, went, I run three instead of my minimum is one minute every hour is because if I ever come to a point where I do get some kind of incentive that I want to take, or if I get a contract, if Megan ever gets partner, wowee, then if I can bargain for like a lower ad density, that'd be great. But so if all my regular viewers are used to three minutes every hour and then I get a deal for like two or something, they'd be like, wow, that's epic. Because not necessarily every partner contract has like an ad density portion. Okay, we haven't seen the villager yet, mod check. tomato soup from scratch for lunch today and it's not that hard to make <laughs> granted it would be a lot more difficult if I didn't have like a processor or a blender because you essentially have to like chop your tomatoes chop your onions or whatever other veggies you want to add I added shredded squash because when you boil squash it essentially like, melts and dissipates into your soup so it's just extra like veggies you know mixed in and then seasonings, and then you boil and simmer. And then you're supposed to like use an emulsifier blender to like puree it at the end once everything is boiled down. But I just scooped it into my blender and it was nice and creamy. Then I also made grilled cheese. I 
I posted a picture on Twitter and then somebody was like, Oh, how childish this meal. But you know what? I elevated it. I made the soup from scratch. You know, I had leftover Asiago cheese because I made three cheese mac the other week. I'm gonna always try to make things from scratch if I'm able to. Just so I can learn how to make things. You know, get the basics of how to cook properly for myself. And also, it's healthier to eat that way. Because when you buy, like, pre-made things, or, like, canned goods, like canned soup, there's so much sodium in it. There's so much. So if you're able to make things from scratch, and you have the time and the money to do so, because I know it's more expensive, go for it. Try it. Because once you learn how to make things yourself, you're gonna have so much appreciation for, like, home cooks or when you go out to eat. Say that but a lot of like chain restaurants will just have things out of the bag or frozen i'm talking about like actual things that cook in-house the only thing that i need to improve on is like seasoning better It's not that my taste buds aren't fully developed, it's just hard for me to like tell if other people like it. Because I like when things are very seasoned. And my mom, she does not know how to season. So I grew up eating a lot of things that were bland. So I don't mind bland tasting things, but I definitely prefer when things are heavily seasoned. I didn't even see them. Are you here for survival training too? My name's Igly. What's yours? Megan, huh? And from Tibbled? All right. It's cool to meet you. Well, I'm gonna go back to survive. Let me know if you need help lifting a tree or whatever. He's cute. Can I keep him? Can we keep him? I know, okay, okay, okay. The rule we discussed before is anytime we get a penguin, we have to take them home. Because theoretically, if we have only penguins on our base island, then Aurora will have to spawn at some point, right? Because the RNG is purely based on, like, the type of animal and then how many of the type of animal you have back at home. So this is the first penguin we saw today. I like them. I like the penguins because they always have, like, the cheeks. His eyes are kind of basic. But I like them. They're cute. Can we vote? Can we vote? And look, they got the little hair tuft, too. We gotta take them. Yeah, and they're cute. They're cute. I don't think I've ever seen this character. Like, ever. You know what that means? Maybe we'll, we might actually get Aurora next time. Because... I'm seeing more characters today that I've never seen before. Which is good. New year, new me. Okay, this is not Aurora. Okay, we'll do a poll, we'll do a poll. Pokemon, go to the polls. Okay. And the name Igly. Igly. Yes. Okay, everybody, Pokemon go to the polls. Do you think we can take Igly home? I like Igly. Stream will end, but I like Igly. I was hoping we'd get a penguin today. And I was hoping it'd be cute. And they're actually kind of cute. Everybody, Pokemon go to the polls. Use your democratic right and vote. Now. I'll give you a I voted sticker. Here, sticker. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna vote in the poll. I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna use my democratic right and vote. I vote yes. If you are a hate watcher, vote no. Mod check hate watchers? <laughs> Poll's looking pretty good. I'm liking the results so far. Yes. Good job, voters. You made the right decision. 
Let's take Igly home, guys. You know, as much as I want to stay here in Trian, I can only build so much muscle by gathering stuff. What would be really cool is if I could live near someone that inspires me to go big and bulking up. Someone like you. Your triceps are just astonishing. Come train on my island, Igly. Train with you and your glorious triceps? I can't turn that. Timlin, here I come. Just you wait. We're totally gonna push each other to muscular new weights, Wadley. Dude, I can work out with Igly and lose 40 pounds. We'll be sworn rivals of Swoldum and best buds and buffness. It's gonna be mega. Or <laughs> what? Meg? <laughs> mega epic. Just like us. It'll be a blast. Have you ever seen 30 pack abs? Neither have I. But we're gonna wada. But we're gonna. Alright, I just gotta bug Tom Nook and put the ball in play. Thanks for the first round draft pick. Yeah. Yay! We have another penguin, guys. Let's fucking go. Okay, well. That didn't take as long as I thought. I was willing to stream for six hours today, but. You know. Maybe we can cut it short here. I do need to pay my nails. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. Should we paint nails on stream? Tab one. I don't know. But I don't want to show my nails on camera. They're like really short. <laughs> hmm. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Yeah, we could do like a little chit chat and nails. Because I wanted to reach at least three hours today. That was my goal. Because, you know, stream hours are down for January. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't have, like, a target stream hours goal for every month, but I want to hit at least, like, 70. Because if I do three streams a week, at least three hours. Three times three. Nine. Nine times four. Wait, what? 36? Wait, how the fuck am I hitting 70 then? Mike Lulis? I, cause I usually average 60. <laughs> oh, but we usually do like bonus streams, and 3 is the minimum. Cause I usually do like 3.5 to 4. So 3.3 .3 times 3, 10.5, 30 per month. Wait, how does the math work out? Oh, cause like, you think. Because subscriber-only streams do contribute to your total stream hours. It just doesn't count towards your viewer average. I forgot. I'll have to check that later. The math doesn't work out. Oh. Okay, what color should I pay my nails then? I'll pick a few and then you guys can choose. It seems like mission is accomplished. We did not find Aurora, but we did get another Q penguin. And it's a new penguin we've never seen before, so maybe we might actually find her soon. The Lulis. <laughs> oh, wait, I just realized if I do nails, then calligraphy is going to be difficult. Screw it, it's fine. I'll just have to be very careful. I didn't even use all my tickets, let's go! Can save them for next month. Okay, let's save here. I was gonna say, maybe we can do HD cam for like POV painting, but I don't paint my nails like this. I like, I contort my hand. Okay, let us. Got some music on. Oh, wait, I just realized my nail polish is in my dresser and it's gonna. It's, it's gonna knock the tripod down. Okay, let's change our title. What should we change the title to? Doing nails. Lowercase. Just chatting. So, chatters. <laughs> I have to be very careful when moving my camera. Everybody, peace I too pray I don't knock it over. Shit, I... 
that just dawned on me. Yeah, don't break the lens. Yeah, clueless. What I could do is I could, like, because, like, when you leave your camera stationary, you should always put the cap on it. That way, if it does fall, the glass doesn't directly touch a surface. It'll touch the cap and not the glass. So maybe I'll put the cap on. So it's going to be dark for a second, but don't be scared. Don't be scared. Okay, does anybody know the OST? Anybody know? I should put- I'm gonna put the camera cap on, so don't freak out. Don't freak out. Um, emote spam, emote spam. I'll give you a hint, it's we. Okay, you have to know what it is based off of this. This bar, you have to know. This is like the menu music. I mean... Okay, okay, okay. I have three colors. Alright, these are all metallic. Oh, hello, taco. Hashtag not sponsored, but uh, that'd be epic. I have... I've been feeling orange, pink, and green. You think this is purple? Are you fucking colorblind? <laughs> that was me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, which one? It's not purple. I mean, okay, it actually does kind of look purple. Because all the glitter is on that side. But it's pink. See, look, it's pink. Because you can see the color shift, right? Green, I guess. Any objectors? Doesn't this look like a spring? Like a spring color palette, though? Oh, I did- Oh, fuck! I didn't take out the nail polish remover! I'm literally DOM. Okay, we gotta go black again. Because it's in the same drawer. Omega lol. It's more fall to you? Really? I think the pink brightens it, though. Like, if it were, like... We'll do green. Welcome to Megan's Nail Salon. Peace in underscore 17. Salon. I considered like getting blank. Oh, this smells bad. Getting blank press on nails. 
and painting them and selling them, but I don't know. You, you have to get really good at painting, like with intri intricacy. I'd like to get into it, but I don't know if I'd ever wear them myself because I personally don't think press-ons are sanitary or any type of like having your nails longer is sanitary because you don't wash your hands as well. And since I'm cooking more, it's harder to work with longer nails. Okay, I need to move my camera more that way when I touch it again. Maybe on the Artica? I said this ages ago too, but maybe I can do like more like nail, like actual nail art on TikTok lives or something. I wouldn't want to make it like a Twitch stream segment because I don't, I don't think many people like it. Or people wouldn't know me for that content, you know? One hand is done. I usually don't put like a clear or base coat down first because, oh, why don't I do it? <laughs> like there's some like long lasting polish base or some like just regular clear base to where you have a barrier between your nail and the polish. But my, my nails always get stained anyway. So it's like, I don't care, I don't give a fuck. I usually always keep them painted so it, it's fine if they're discolored. I know it's not good for like long term, because you need to like let your nails breathe every once in a while. But it's not a big concern for me. Like I'd rather repaint my nails like every week or something, so. Your nails are always black. Oh, I I got scared. Like, you know how people who work in like as a mechanic or machinery and like their fingers are like fucking stained black with ink or soot. That's what I thought of and I got scared. I was like, ooh. I hate seeing that. Do you always, whenever you get your nails done, do you always get the same thing? If I had, if I had, like, the money to get my nails done, I'd, I'd want a different pattern every time I went. But you always do black and then change out the ring? Okay, I think that's a fine look. Ooh, do you get, like, do you get, like, just a regular base color for the different color, or do you get, like, a pattern? Like, I think getting, like, a really intricate design, like, ring nail, I think would be... Crazy. Oh, you get base colors? Come on. You get some like pattern shit. Go on a mobile? Okay, mobile Mac is back. Okay, all the polish is removed. Time to do the green. What I do like about Hollow Talk is nail polish, hashtag not sponsored, is that the colors are typically super opaque, especially for their like color shift metallic colors. It usually only takes like one coat or two coats. This is one coat. And they're already pretty glossy, so you don't necessarily need to add a gloss coat. And even their matte colors are super glossy, too. Because I don't like when you have to put too much polish on it to get a fully opaque color. There's one of their shades. It's like an opal. And it, it takes like four coats to get a fully opaque color, and I hate it. But I love the color so much. Okay, nobody roasts me, but this is how I paint my nails normally. I can't do it like this. I can't do it. I have to, like... I have to have it, like, really close to my face. <laughs> Seeing my nails plain to me is so weird. I know, me too. Because um, back when I was working in food service, I, I was allowed to, like, have polish on and get acrylics, but I just chose not to because I couldn't wash my hands as well. So now that I'm not working, I'm painting my nails more often. 
and it definitely has helped me with like not biting my nails as much because I've noticed anytime where like my polish like has basically all chipped off or um, like is gone if I remove it and I don't repaint them right away I immediately bite my nails and it's a really bad habit that the only way thing that has worked to stop that habit is just painting my nails One hand done. Ooh, I wonder how it would look if I did like blue and then green on top of it. I think that would go crazy next time. I'll try the next time. Try like trying to like layer colors. Okay, other hand. Now I'm pretty like when I work with my hands, I can usually work pretty precisely. Like, I have really good control whenever I'm doing, like, fine motor function. Like, I can't type as well anymore, but if I'm, like, drawing or painting, I have really good control when I'm... <sighs> you know, it sounds sucks, but when I'm manipulating, like, tools in my with my hands... Like, I have really good control. It's almost, it's also like so much easier to paint your nails when it's a longer brush. Like for funsies, I tried to like put polish on with like a super long brush. Like where the bristles were long and then also the actual like handle was long. And it was so much easier because it was able to like fan out more. It did ruin that paintbrush though, so I'm not going to do that. Again with another brush, but... It'd be cool if I could get, like, specific, like, nail brushes. If I ever do pursue, like, making press-ons or doing, like, more intricate designs, I'll definitely have to, like, look into more finer brush sets. Okay, first coat done. See, look how glossy it is already. And... The rainbow chrome effect isn't going to come up as well on camera because these are white lights I'm using, but if they were yellow, they show up beautiful in sunlight. Yeah, it's not showing up as well. But see the, the color shift of the logo? That's basically the color shift you'll see once the polish is in yellow light, and it's crazy. I haven't bought nail polish in a while. I think the last time I bought from them was like during summertime, but that's just because I'm trying to save money. And I'm the type of person to collect things. So once I start collecting something, I want to get every single color, every single version. So I was essentially like buying from all their drops, just trying to collect like every single color. But then I was like, I should stop doing that. So another reason why I did not want to get into plushies, like even though I have one here, my friend got it from me, or my sister, I keep missing my friend, but my sister, remember she debated me, but my sister, Butterfree for Christmas and I, I really I really want to buy more because just like imagine how cute the couch would be just filled with plushies But I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it. I Refuse I'm gonna use all my strength and courage And not buy more plushies I'm only gonna buy non luxury things from now on. The only time I'm gonna buy like extra things that are like decoration or not related to a hobby or a skill is if I have a job. I'm not buying anything extra. I'm refusing. Because I feel like society encourages society. Um, just our culture encourages you to buy and consume all the time. And I don't need that. And I don't have the means to do so. Okay, so to compare, this is two coats and this is one. So see how this hand is a lot more opaque? It's, it's subtle. Like, one coat is still pretty opaque, but two is, like, perfect. I'll get closer to cam once it's all done. 
I know this particular brand is a bit higher price point, but I think it's definitely worth it. I keep my polishes in a drawer, that way they're not exposed to sunlight, and the colors will last longer. Sorry, it's not even on cam. Oopsie. I'm a pro. I would do French tips, because I like the look. It's not like traditional at all, but whenever I have my nails out longer, I would put a glitter coat down first over my bare nail, and then I would do a colored tip. So like if I was doing the green, I would do glitter. So I would do like a, a chrome white glitter and then just do green on the tip. And I like that look a lot. It gave me like fairy vibes. Oh, I just spilled on my laptop. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't fall on the keys. It just fell on like, you know, the space next to the trackpad. It's fell on there. So I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> Oopsie. That's why we have that to clean up. Yeah, I think my nails will be back to full length in about three weeks. It's gonna take a while to grow back out again. I'm so sad they broke. Cause it's like, once you break one, you might as well just break them all, right? Your mom used to have a lot of polish. Yeah, I used to have a lot too. Because my neighbor, she was going through all of her things. This was like 10 years ago. Okay, I'm all done. Um, she was like getting rid of things because every year we did like an annual garage sale. So one year she finally decided to get rid of all her polish. She brought over like two containers like this big filled with polishes and like half of them were like five, ten years old, right? So we had to go through them and we kept what everyone's were like decent. But since I think nail polish is only good for so long, you can try to revive it by like adding nail polish remover to the actual bottle and shaking it. But once it's too tacky, it's kind of a lost cause. But I think Holo Taco is the best brand I've ever had. Hashtag not sponsored. Okay, let's get some close-ups. Okay, which hand has less <laughs> finger biting? <laughs> yeah, you can't really see the color shift, but it's pretty glossy. I love a gloss polish. You know what else I love? Where's my mouse? You know what else I love? I love running ads because chatters we are three hours in the stream. So it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can like Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Dude, that was perfect. I have it memorized again, finally. So, after the ad, stream is almost over. Not over yet. Um, we're gonna do a calligraphy. So if you're new to stream, um, if you donate to the channel or use your channel points, we do calligraphy and write your name, wowie. Also, yeah. <laughs> if you have to watch that ad, peep the pinned comment, you can go watch my new TikTok, go like it, leave a comment, I appreciate it. Okay, get boomed the non-subs. Like a free time. I actually have to wait like a minute for these to set more because these are really quick drying, but it still takes like two minutes, which is really quick. I'm not gonna lie. It's even shorter than the ad break. Holy. Sorry, I, I love when I get replies to my tweets because y'all are so silly sometimes. 
Dude, why is it whenever I post food, it just farms engagement? I'm talking about my Twitter. Um, go follow, please. I need clout. Okay, click every time. I think. Yeah, they're they're not tacky at all. I still shouldn't press too hard on it, but it's basically fully dry. So look, that that took like ten minutes. Crazy. Okay, ch uh, so let's do calligraphy now. Any color, Mac. Just tell me a color. There's two picks. Wait, what did I say I was gonna do with two picks earlier? Oh, I was gonna clean my glasses. Because now that we have a more specific color pens, you can choose a more specific color. You can choose like light blue or turquoise or maroon. Oh wait, calligraphy time for farming. I feel like this blue is so saturated, but I don't have a lighter blue in the Cali Art set. It's kind of a bummer. Once I start working, I'm definitely gonna invest in more like higher quality art supplies. Like I wanna get some nice ass acrylics. Because usually the higher price point acrylics are more opaque, meaning they take less layers to get a fully, similar to the nail polish, it takes less layers to get a fully non-translucent color. Because it's all about like the pigment content. Just go from it. I like this periwinkle blue, 533. What I do like about the tombos is that they have a lot more like pastel hues. Hey chat, that is our last name for the day. So if you want calligraphy to be done for your name, all you gotta do is donate the channel or use your channel points. It's free if you use your channel points. Holy, last call. Preferred nicknames or pronouns. Can we get some peace? I to yes. Welcome in. <laughs> wagon? Why are you saying wagon? <laughs> huh? Lamau. <laughs> Welcome in, hon. Okay, chat 
luck is too. This is your last call for the day. If you want me to write your name, I gotta do is donate or use your channel points. Last call, you got 10 seconds. Almost X dot me music low. <laughs> okay. Five, four, three. Okay, when we're done, we're done. Okay. I would like to thank everybody for watching this bonus weekend stream, Aurora Hunting. We did not find her today, but we did find another cute penguin named Igly, so I'm excited. Maybe next next month if we have only penguins on our island the probability of actually having her spawn is increased so next month surely will be it i will be live again again <laughs> on <laughs> tuesday so make sure if you're new here you're following the channel and if you are following make sure notifications are on that we don't miss a single stream um we should have a normal week we'll see how i feel <laughs> My goal is to get another speed painting done tomorrow. Hopefully posting it on Tuesday, so go follow my new art TikTok. It's peace and underscore art on TikTok. You get speed paintings and cool introspective monologues, so go follow. Okay, I will see you guys Tuesday. I'll see you guys Tuesday. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Dude, this music goes crazy. Um, for anybody, if you can't guess, this is from Wii Party. This was definitely one of my favorite games from the Wii. If we are able to do Wii Week, I'll see if we still have this game, actually. fun today. Sad we didn't find her, but surely next time. Also, uh, I gifted two subs today, so I don't know if I'll be able to afford m much more this month. <laughs> Nobody else redeemed. Please. Please. Okay. I'll see you guys Tuesday. Bye-bye.